section uh, which would be on you know accounting entries on investment part so it means when fund raise uh, amount or investment from investors and invest in different variety of securities then in that case how we record you know transactions in the books of account or let's say maybe in the books of geneva or any other accounting platform so how we record the transactions so we'll see that see here in this particular course we are only focusing on journal entries so it means how fund accountants create a journal entries in the books of account so our main focus is on journal entries all right so let's discuss assume it assume it um, you have uh, received fund you are you are working as a fund manager and you have received fund so once you received fund of course your next step would be to you know uh, invest that money anywhere means in maybe in securities maybe in bonds options futures or any other financial instruments see even if you invest in options futures swaps ultimately that would be your investments so when we say investment it means you have purchased something so ultimately that would be your debit side all right and when something goes when you invest cash will out so cash will be credited so this is how you can you know put your logic all right anyways so here if you see let's assume it you have purchased something so on purchase it what happened when you purchase something of course you will receive assets so purchase account debit to payable so on purchase it you can create a payable so now your question would be like so on same date broker you know debit the amount then why will create a payable see the logic is very simple broker you know hold that amount in your account only so that on settlement it broker will settle the amount on behalf of you so meanwhile broker plays crucial role to get you know ensure the security is debited or credited in your account on timely manner so that's what once you purchase securities on same date broker hold that amount or block that amount broker never uh, you know uh, directly transfer that amount to the counterparties because that will be risky one the reason is we have a t plus one day or t plus two days in a settlement cycle so on settlement date only you will receive your securities in your account so it means your counterparty will also receive their consideration which is amount in their books of account or bank on settlement date only so one or, for one or two days your securities and even that cash amount it will be with the broker and that's the reason broker plays crucial role in this entire cycle and that's what we create technically we create payables when we purchase something all right purchase account debit to payable account credit second when that actually you know your trade settled on bank statement or custodian statement or maybe let's say you have uh, let's say actually received securities and all in that case your accounting entry would be payable account debit to cash account credit so ultimately cash will out but if you put a logic ultimately we are preparing accounting entry for this one only purchase account debit to cash account cash or bank account credit anyways payable it will be reversed on settlement date and that amount it will be you know received through outgoing wire so you will receive outgoing wire and that wire you can match with your purchase transactions which is buy transactions this is how you can prepare accounting entries in the context of purchase now same you know logic you can apply for different different trades as i said you can apply it for equity bonds debentures abs mbs even loans and option uh, derivatives if you purchase anything this replace the word purchase it means anyways we are going will purchase all these instruments or will sell all these instruments just apply your brain and you know replace that word rest everything would be remain same you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, you don't need to you know uh, change any process and all so process would be remain same just you need to change the names and that's how you can just change the names and prepare the accounting entries for example let's say in case of option trades if you purchase options what would be the accounting entry once you purchase option your accounting entry would be option account debit to cash account credit what if if i sell options cash account debit to option account credit so this is how you can you know put a logic and prepare your accounting entries all right so now in case of let's say sell sell of shares or sell of securities how we prepare accounting entries in case of sell you can create a receivables so your accounting entry would be trade receivable account debit to sell off share account credit so securities it will be debit uh, de means it will be removed from your account on same date so that's what we record it uh, to the credit side and cash will receive you on settlement date 
so that's what we create a receivables and when actually bank you know that particular trade settled in your bank account your accounting entry would be let's say uh, you have sell the securities worth of rupees 10,000 and you have also gain as well. So assuming it there was a gain of 2,000. So your accounting entry would be cash account debit, which is 12,000 trade receivable account credit, which is 10,000 and realized gain on investment. So it means whatever portion that you have realized and that uh, let's say if that is a gain, then you can record it to the credit side. So this is, you know, how you can record entries in the books of fund. In case of loss, of course, loss would be debited. In case of loss, then your cash account debit then your loss whatever loss that you have and trade receivable so this is how you can you know uh, that modify the entries as well as and when required all right yes so our uh, next is so i have just created a presentation how it looks like your transactions and all see whenever whenever you receive you know whenever you purchase that we record debit whenever we you know purchase your cash will out that we record credit so basically when asset increase you can record it to the debit and when asset decrease you can record it to the credit and there is no impact on enemy basically but when you purchase something what will happen accounting entry would be purchase account debit to cash account credit but what if there is a gain right every every whenever you have a date accounting date you are seeing gain loss gain loss so this is what your mark to market come into picture mark to market it means mark to market so always record your transactions at market prices by comparing with the mark price mark price it means purchase price market it means current market value of that particular securities so you can record transactions in a way to you know um, to ensure that your accounting records are in line as per the market price all right but anyways so here two examples that we'll discuss in terms of gain. If you have a gain on investment, so you can prepare accounting entry, which is investment gain account debit to unrealized gain account credit. Record this entry somewhere. So I'm sure you would see questions around in, in, in your interview as well. And if you have a loss on securities from the current market price, then you can uh, record the entry in this way. Unrealized loss account debit to investment loss account credit. So always you can compare the market price with the mark price means purchase price and computer calculate losses or gains and you can record it in the books of account accordingly all right yeah so this was just the example of your uh, purchase and same now if you see if you sell the security at this uh, let's say i'm assuming it when you have a loss of 1000 so it means from the market price uh, mark value you have loss of 500 and if you just sell it out this asset so your accounting entry would be cash account debit Realize loss account debit to sell off investment account credit. So this is how you can, you know, manage your accounting books of records. So in case of uh, this one, let's say I'm assuming you have sold the asset at this point in time and you have a profit of almost 5,000 because you invested 10,000 and you have uh, sold assets at 15,000. So you means, uh, it means you have 5,000 rupees gain. So in that case, you, you, you can record accounting entries in this way cash account debit which is 15,000 to sell off investment account credit which is 10,000 to realized gain on assets which is 5,000. See this is how you can again create a records in the books of account. All right. So yeah, you can you can record uh, you know same accounting entries in the context of your mutual fund as well as hedge fund. So I'm sure now uh, he would have you know got this how we record transactions in the books of account you can refer the same practice and recorded entries in the books of account as and when required. I'll share this assignment or I'll share this basically Excel sheet with you. You can follow the same if you're working professional and all or if you're looking for interview preparation, I would request you do more practice. If you do more practice, then only you can record transactions in the books of account accurately because entries plays crucial role. If you miss any entry or if you incorrectly record any accounting entry that uh, will actually you know create a huge uh, huge i would say um, you know uh, losses in the books of account all right so this is how you can follow the method and record the transactions in the books of account so thank you thank you very much we'll see you next session uh, on next topic which is expenses and we'll record the entries